The phase one trade deal between the US and China became reality on Wednesday and will take effect in mid-February. Trump and Xi Jinping have been talking about this phase one deal for a while now, but economists and markets were waiting to see if they would come through or if new escalations in the trade war would be taking place. In this deal, China pledges to purchase at least $200 billion worth of US goods and services over the next two years, a big increase compared to current levels. China also commits to not manipulate its currency. Before this deal was signed, the US took China off its list of currency manipulators, another positive move towards de-escalation. Most of the American tariffs that are in place on $360 billion worth of Chinese goods will remain intact, but this deal prevents further escalation in the short term. If China does not play by the rules, an enforcement mechanism is written in this deal, allowing the U.S. to increase tariffs and impose new tariffs if they deem that China violated its commitments. Donald Trump seemed very satisfied by this phase one deal, saying that it was a momentous step. However, despite the U.S. president's enthusiasm, this deal is not a comprehensive one in the sense that deeper issues at the root of the conflict between Trump and Xi Jinping are not addressed. Issues like cyber theft, the use of industrial subsidies, and state-owned enterprises in China are not mentioned in this deal, which means that the Sino-American conflict is a long way from being over. This deal is good news for markets and for the global economy as it reduces somewhat global uncertainty coming from geopolitical risk, but it does not mean that the trade war is over, far from that. And it also doesn't tell us anything about what a phase two deal would look like and when it could take place. There's a good chance that Trump will talk about phase two a lot in the next few months as he uses it as a way to get reelected.